Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. Today we're going to be learning about JavaScript's bind function. And we're going to be learning about bind in under five minutes. Bind is pretty complicated, so let's get started. Now, in JavaScript, JavaScript has a very special keyword called this. By the way, you can follow along by opening your developer tools in Chrome on any page with Control shift i on PC or Command shift i on Mac. So if you type this and press Enter, you see that this returns window, which is the overall window object. But there's a lot more to this. For example, let us uh, define um, uh, an object, and we'll say var object, and we'll just give this object a method, a method, and we'll say uh, method is a function, and we'll say return this. So we'll say object object dot method. And you'll notice that when this is called from an object, what is returned is the object itself. So if I say this in the contents of the window, it's window. But if I say this from within an object, it's a pointer to the object itself. Let's get a little bit deeper. So we're going to write a function. And all the function is going to do is return this. I'm going to say function show this it's going to return this so if we just call show this it's once again going to return the window because we've invoked the function and the function is not bound to any property now let's create a new function using bind we'll say there show this to equals show this without the round brackets dot bind. Now whatever we pass to bind will be the value of this in the new function. So we'll just bind it to an empty object. Now if I call show this to, it returns the object. But if I call show this, it returns window. When you call bind, a new function is created. The original function has not changed. Understand bind? Well, it's pretty confusing. Let's do one more example. So now we're going to show how bind can be used to composite um, JavaScript objects, which can be very useful and practical. So we're going to start um, with uh, two objects. And we're going to say var a is an object, and it's going to have a property name. And that name's going to be John. And then we're going to create another variable b. And it's going to have a property name equals Rob. So there's A and there's B. Pretty exciting. Now, what if we want to have a function where each of these objects returns its name? Well, let's write the function that would do that if the function was a method of both of those objects. Function show name return this dot name. So now I have show name, but if I invoke it, it returns that crazy um, string, which I guess is the name of the window. Well, it's not the right name of the objects in any case. Now, we can take this function and we can bind it. So we can say show name dot bind a, and it's going to return a new function. If we add round brackets the end to call that function, it's going to show John's name. Now we can create a new function by binding it to B. And can you guess what will show up? Rob. In both cases, it's returning this dot name. But the function is bound to different objects. And if we look at the original show name, it's still pointing at the window. Because bind only creates a copy of a function. So that's about it for bind. You can bind a function to any object and reuse functions very handily in that way. You no longer need to use jQuery bind most of the time, as native bind is now well supported and very good. Well, hope that helped. Have a good day.